This year's topic for our annual symposium is from machine learning to biomedical understanding. And so for the first time in the series, we put really squarely machine learning and computational approaches in the center. And we want to show the breadth of applications where computers are used in this field. And so we will have presentations um, from very different domains, people that work on text analysis to understand biomedical literature or medical histories and, and reports of doctors. We have people that work on more efficient approaches for genome editing. We have researchers talking about image analysis and new hardware and advanced approaches to work with biomedical image data. And of course, because we're ourselves interested in genomics and epigenomics, we have people that work in this and try to understand uh, the functions of the genome with machine learning. Everyone knows that machine learning is playing a large role in our everyday life now, right? We know this from self-driving cars that are supposed to come soon. We know this from uh, our own photos from our vacation that our computers can automatically tag and tell us who's in the picture. Um, maybe it's less well known that machine learning has also become really indispensable for biomedical research. and. The main reason is similar to other application domains, we simply have enough data to allow computers to discover new things. And so in the medical context, we're not using machine learning um, to become more efficient, to replace humans uh, and have computers do routine work like sorting your mail. We use computers to discover new things in massive data. And these massive data sets in medical research include the personalized genome that probably most of us will have in the next decade or two, but of course also image data from your x-ray or your MRT, or your medical records and insurance records that have been tracked for a long time and that allow computer methods to now see new dependencies and discover new disease trajectories and hopefully enable us to find new diagnosis and ultimately also develop new medical approaches for diseases that we cannot treat yet.